Hello, welcome to Retro Tech Retreat. In a previous episode, we looked at the Pi R33 tabletop radio, which piqued quite a bit of interest amongst some of the viewers. One of the questions most frequently asked of me was, how does the little radio work? Duffy, let's go to work. So the plan today is to take a closer look at the circuit design and how the radio works. The R33 is a simple superheterodyne receiver. A superheterodyne receiver, or superhet for short, is a type of radio receiver that uses frequency mixing to convert a received signal to a fixed intermediate frequency known as IF, which can be more conveniently processed than the original carrier frequency, the RF. The antenna collects the radio signal, but the output is likely to be very small. The signal from the antenna is tuned and amplified in a radio frequency RF amplifier. The RF filter allows only the frequencies we require to pass to the amplifier. For the R33, these frequencies are 530 kHz to 1.6 MHz for medium wave and 150 kHz to 279 kHz for long wave. A local oscillator provides the mixing frequency. It is a variable frequency oscillator which is used to tune the receiver to different stations. To tune the receiver to a particular station, the frequency of the local oscillator is controlled by the tuning knob. Tuning of the local oscillator in the RF stage uses a variable capacitor. The dashed lines on the diagram indicate the local oscillator and the RF filter are ganged together which means they will both act together. The frequency mixer does the actual heterodyning and it changes the incoming radio frequency signal to a fixed IF of 470 kilohertz. The mixer will process not only the desired IF input signal, but also all signals present at its input, meaning there will be many mixer products, known as heterodynes. Most other signals produced by the mixer, such as due to stations at nearby frequencies, can be filtered out in the IF tuned amplifier. In the R33, the functions of the local oscillator and the mixer are combined in a single valve leading to a saving in power size and especially cost. The IF bandpass filter and amplifier supply most of the gain and the narrowband filtering for the radio. Because the IF amplifier operates on a fixed center frequency of 470 kilohertz, its design can be optimized for that frequency. This makes the design of the amplifier a lot more simple as the IF amplifier works on a fixed center frequency, the 470 kHz, this allows it to be carefully tuned, it's called aligning, for best performance. The R33 achieves this using two dual tuned IF transformers. The receive signal is now processed by the demodulator stage, where the audio signal is recovered and then further amplified to drive a loudspeaker. So that's it, that's how the R33, along with most other AM radios, works. Hope you found that interesting. And do keep in touch. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. See you again. Good job, Duffy. Let's go for tea.